Hi, welcome to Tammy's Tiny Todd's Reborn. So today is whatever Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Um, I know I did not make a video Monday or Tuesday this week. I've just been, I don't know about anybody else, but I have been feeling the blahs. The, I don't know. It's, I have no motivation. I can't get motivated to do anything. I don't know. I'm just, I mean, I'm doing my, my dishes. I'm doing my, I'm cooking every day and I'm doing my regular housework stuff that has to be done. But when it comes to coming into this nursery, I just haven't been, I don't know what's going on with me. I don't know what, uh, I'm just been a bit of a, a mess, I guess. So, I have my blank silicone baby here. I'm going to change her into something um, that I want to see her in because I think she's going to look absolutely adorable in it. And then I want to show you a couple things that I got for her. So, well, a couple passies. I got her some new passies. So, this is a yellow one that she was using. It was the twin A's, but it works good in her mouth because it, it's been cut off. And, um, she needs like a full passy, but not a huge nipple. Um, so what I did was I bought the zero to two months. So they're little tiny nipples. So these ones work perfect because they're smaller. So this is Nook, the Nook one. And it, she's got the one in her mouth here. It was a two pack. It's like a dusty rose and a pink. And then this one is pink with white. And then these ones I got are Tommy, I think they're Tommy Tippies. And this one has a little flower. And this one has um, pink with little flowers on it. So that I got all those for her. Anyway, I'm going to take this passy out of her mouth because the outfit I'm going to put on her, I think she's going to wear this pacifier for the outfit I'm going to put on her. All right. Anyway. I brought her on to change her for one and for two, um, just because I wanted to change her. But the main reason I brought her on camera today was because um, I wanted to share. I finally picked a name for her because after I paint her, she is staying in my reborn co in my collection. So I did pick a name for her. So her name is Octavia. So I'm going to put her pacifier on this passy clip. Isn't it cute? It's a little princess with hearts and stuff. So I've been talking to some of my other friends that have YouTube channels and stuff. And I guess I'm not the only person feeling this, this, um, I don't know, this lack of go. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it. Um, I guess it's common going around the community with a few other people. Okay, so there's her passy ready to go. So we're going to take this hat off. So, yeah, I guess I'm not the only one feeling this odd feeling about... Um, just about... It's not It's not the re, It's not the babies, like the reborns or the dolls. It's seriously just my mood for life. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm just feeling no motivation to do or to want to do anything, anything at all. So, so this sweet baby is going to be reborn next. Well, let's see. This weekend I go to um, Muskoka to, for it's uh, Benjamin and Atlee's second birthday. So I'm going there to celebrate their birthday, go for their birthday party. Um, and then the following weekend, I'm going to be going away for 11 days. So I'll have to make videos with the babies I'm taking, which are, she's going because she's getting reborn, are going to get painted and done up. She needs a bath. So she's going and um thorman's going and uh the hair stuck on here thorman's going and penny is going with us because penny has a new cousin 
on Lana's channel. Oh, and I wanted to, I'll put her link in the description below, but check out Honest Silly Dollies. Or no, is it Honest? I, I think it's, I think it's Silly Dolly on YouTube. Sorry, it's Honest Silly Dollies on her sale page. But I think it's, yeah, her YouTube is Silly Dolly, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to change. No, I'm going to leave that diaper on her, I guess. Um, yeah, so Silly Dolly. Um, I'll leave a link to her channel. Make sure you go and check out. Um, she has a, it's a fairly long video. Um, but it's, um, it's. Christmas I think it's, it's I think it's labeled something Christmas but I'll put the link to the actual video in the description so go and click on that go and watch the video and uh enter to when she's uh doing a giveaway when she she's working on trying to build up her channel so let your friends know share the news um and go over and check out her channel and um enter she's giving away a um silicone cuddle baby so yeah get over there enter and you could possibly win a silicone cuddle baby so yeah this outfit i think was bought for penny by by my friend but i want to put it on this little girl because i think it's gonna look really cute and even if i have it with me on her when i take her because she won't change again until after i go to um, I go to my friend's house. So anyway, um, yeah, check out her video. She has a, a video. It's a live video of all of us, me, myself, uh, her, Lana, and um, Cassie. I had to think what her name was. Um, it was at our little Christmas get together. And uh, there's some giveaways in the video that you can't enter now but yeah because you had to be live to enter them but there are there is one video or one giveaway that's for as soon as she hits a thousand subscribers and uh if you know if we go over and we subscribe we could help her to achieve a thousand subscribers quicker and maybe Quite possibly, just by clicking subscribe, you could end up with a, a beautiful cuddle baby silicone. And, and it is really cute. It is a really cute cuddle baby. You need a onesie under there, under your clothes, don't you? But I'll take a onesie with me to put on you when we, after I've reborn you. It's a little bit big. It is zero to three months this outfit but that's okay I I want or I like you know I like it to be a little bit bigger on her in a sense it's easier to get on when it's a little tiny bit bigger there we go and less you put less strain on the on the silicone that way oh look at how cute she is Oh my gosh, she's going to be so beautiful when I finally get her painted. When I finally get you painted, little girl. Yeah. I think, how do we do this? There we go. Oh, I hate this clip sometimes. Maybe I'll clip it. Like that. There. That's better. Piece of dirt there on your lip. <laughs> Everything sticks to the baby. Very gently. There we go. Oh, that that does look good with this outfit. Okay. So yeah, check out her channel. You could enter. So I was going to do a quick tag. So it won't take me long to answer these questions. So is a tag I heard on my friend Lori's Butterfly House YouTube channel. Um, and it's called Tag, All About Mom. So number question number one is, what made you start to collect reworms? Well, I've always collected dolls. Uh, 
porcelain dolls is what I collected. Um, my entire childhood, I collected porcelain. I love, a little bit big in the pants, but that's okay. No one's going to be able to see that. Um, I loved my porcelain dolls growing up. My mom collected them too. So yeah, it was a, I had quite a few porcelain dolls. So um, when I found them online, I just came across them. I was like, oh my gosh, these are perfect. And I've always, um, I've wanted one for years. Like I did see them many, many years ago and I just kind of let it go. And I didn't, um, I didn't bother looking into them more detailed and uh, I just left it. And anyway, I found them years later and I was able to purchase my first one and start and then start making them myself. All right. Number two, do you have any other hobbies? Um, I used to do scrapbooking. I still have all my scrapbooking stuff. I just haven't done it in years. Um, I crochet, um, and, uh, I, I like to, I like to go camping and stuff like that. That's about it for me for hobbies. Um, number three, where is your dream vacation? Hmm. My dream vacation would be to go to Australia. Yep. That would be my dream vacation to go to Australia, visit Annette from Miracle Babies and, um, get to go to the uh, Australia, the Ipswich doll show. Um, they have the doll show and then, um, which is like our doll shows here. And then they have another show that they just started last year at Christmas. And I'd like to uh, actually attend that one. It's um, all just reborns. No other types of dolls. So that would be my dream. Number four. Would you rather shop for yourself or for your reborns? I would rather shop for my babies. 100%. Number five. What is your perfect Saturday night? Going out, having friends over, watching a movie. Um, Perfect Saturday night for me is whatever. Honestly, I enjoy going out. I enjoy having friends come over. Um, and I don't mind watching a movie. Most of my Saturday nights are watching movie or television. That's my normal Saturday night because, you know, we just don't do any, much of anything else. So um, it's kind of a treat to have friends over um, and maybe do some karaoke in the basement. Um, but getting to go out for like out for dinner i haven't been out for dinner in probably three years so well other than let's get a a quick drive through meal and eat it in the car which i don't consider going out <laughs> number six do you have any pets yes i do i have two dogs um chucky is a boston terrier chihuahua cross jojo is a little chihuahua he only is only four pounds little tiny guy um, and then we have a cat. Um, my nursery is completely closed off. The animals are not allowed in my nursery. Um, my cat's name is Bella. And then we have a fish. His name is Fred. And then we have um, a bird who is 37 years old. My And I inherited her from my aunt. And she is um, a Quaker parrot. And so I have, I have her and her name is Basil and that's it in the pet department. Now I used to have a whole bunch more, but that's it for me for a pet now. Number seven, what is your favorite type of music? Well, I have two favorite types and they kind of compete 50, 50, um, is Southern gospel. I love Southern gospel with the Bill Gaither and and, and friends, any one of his many friends that perform on the stage with Bill Gaither, I just adore them. So I love Southern gospel and I also love country music. I absolutely love country. Number eight, are you a city girl or a country girl? Um, I could be both. I don't mind being in the country and I don't mind being in the city. Now I know being, we live in the city now, and I grew up in cottage country, which is like a little tiny town, you know, what's a retirement town. A lot of people retire there that live there year round. And I grew up in, you know, cottage country. So it, which is kind of back 
you know, we're kind of, we're country like people living out there, you know, Comp bonfires and riding the four wheeler around the property and yeah, stuff like that. Snowmobiles. Yeah. <laughs> now the last question is number nine because number five was actually in a sense a two parter. So, um, it's number nine. And the last question is, tell me a secret about you that no one knows. Hmm. A secret that no one knows. Jeez. Well, uh, something, I, I can't say no one knows it. There are people out there that know it. But um, I've not shared this on with any of my my YouTube friends before. Um, I have four biological children. Um, and I have three stepchildren. But I, I had um, three different miscarriages in the past. One was caused from a car accident, the seatbelt um, killed, killed the, ba the fetus. Um, the second one, um, we're not really sure what happened. It, it happened very early in the pregnancy. And um, the third one, which my oldest daughter is my rainbow baby um because she was the first pregnancy born after this the last miscarriage um it was a really strange miscarriage uh my water broke um i passed my mucus plug and i had contractions and everything and um they really couldn't figure it out it was really crazy they were quite um at the hospital i was i was an interesting subject <laughs> because i was my body was literally going through labor and I was trying to deliver this baby be way before it was supposed to be delivered. So anyway, um, yeah, so I had that miscarriage really messed me up emotionally. Um, I dreamt for a long time, nasty, scary dreams afterwards. And, uh, yeah, so it wasn't very pleasant, but, um, yeah, so there's something not many people know. I did have, um, three miscarriages yeah well there we go well oh yeah i don't know if i said what her name was maybe i did but anyway so little miss octavia that's what i decided to name her little miss octavia will be painted starting next week when i go away yes i'll be going to a friend's place and learning how to reborn she's going to teach me how to reborn isn't that awesome She's going to teach me what she learned how to do. Show me what she learned. And I'm going to learn from her. Yeah. Oh my gosh. She is so cute. I am so in love with her. And she's not even painted yet. Oh, I just tell you this baby. Hmm. She is so sweet. And my dream was to have a full body um, silicone boy, which I have with Thorman. And a full body silicone girl. And I wanted one to be asleep and one to be awake. And that would be my perfect, you know, my perfect babies in a sense. The ones like the mainstay of my collection. So now I have my awake girl, my asleep boy. And now I think I need an awake, a, a, an asleep girl and an awake boy now. I just, I can't, I can't get enough. This baby, this silicone is absolutely amazing. And I mean amazing. Like... Like, Lori Sullivan Roy is amazing. Oh, her kits are just, oh, to die for. I just, oh, I can't wait to paint her and then have her home all painted. She's just so cute, even blank. <laughs> all right, well, I hope you enjoyed our video. Sorry that it's lack of videos this week. I just, honestly, I've ran out of ideas on what to talk about and what to do. And I don't know, I think all my excitement in life has just kind of gone down the toilet lately. So unfortunately I haven't been feeling very, I haven't been feeling very anything. <laughs> I'll be honest. I've just been feeling really down and, and, you know, kind of blah. So yeah. Um, hit that like button guys. If you liked our, this video, hit that dislike if you didn't. Please let me know in the comments if anybody else is going through these weird emotional or emotions, whatever you want to call it, weird feelings lately. Let me know if you're going suffering too, because this is not fun. It has not been fun at all. 
Well, everyone, stay safe and smile. And share a smile with a friend because, gosh darn it, we need smiles to start spreading. Take off those masks and start smiling. But make sure you're six feet apart if you're going to take off your mask and smile at someone. <laughs> you don't want to, you don't want to get, catch anything. <laughs> All right, everybody. Stay safe. Bye.